<clears throat> all right so i want to start this off by saying that this is more of a this is more of a troubleshooting video for rde 3.1.7 this is a continuation of my previous video which you can find here at my channel as you can see um has 2.4k views um this is okay this is more of a troubleshooting video than a quote unquote tutorial so this one is so recently i've been getting quite a few comments saying oh uh, my game has been infinitely loading for quite a while um or my game is crashing or it's just not loading at all or it's just like my my infinite loading screen this is this is for infinite loading screen people so now for me this is what fixed it so first thing is game config that's the first thing you're gonna want to install now as a whole rde when you install it or realism dispatch enhanced when you install it through open iv it should just install its own game config but it's uh, it's a bit glitched and it'll cause some infinite loading screen issues so it's better to just grab this one really quickly and replace the one that's already in there so that way you're, you're not sitting there for an eternity but um and then the second thing you're going to want to get is pack file limit adjuster now um the only thing that's really necessary in here is game config but i'm just showing you these these just in case you're getting this error and then also the second thing is heap adjuster so which is right here this is so the, these are the three main files you're going to need so game config pack file limit adjuster and heap adjuster so once you've downloaded those three things i'll go ahead and download this my internet's quite slow. And I'll go ahead and download pack file. And I'll go ahead and download heap. And those are just the three main files that you need. So once you've got those three things uh, downloaded, what you're going to want to do is, sorry, OBS is in the way, sorry. But uh, what you're going to want to do is go into your downloads folder. Open up File Explorer, go into your downloads folder, and you're going to see three things. Heap Adjuster, Game Config, and Pack File Limit Adjuster. Go ahead and grab those three things and put them on your desktop, because you're going to need them. And then after that, you can just delete the shortcut that you made just now. So, first off, we're going to start off with Game Config, because it's the hardest one out of every single one of them, which, I mean, it's not very hard either, so. Obviously, as you can see, if you try to double-click it, it doesn't open, so right-click on it, open with more. So, once you're here, you're going to see three files. Backup, GTA config, V30 for V, you know, 28.02, and then old versions. So, this is the older version. These are the older versions for, these are versions for older game, uh, you know, game versions. Uh, you should, you should have, you should have 2802, uh, as of now, as of when, you know, this is going to be uploaded, but obviously, um, some people might have downgraded their game somehow, but. So, and then there's going to be the backup file. This is your, this is the original XML file. This is your original game config. This is your original game config just in case uh, you mess up in installing this and need to go back. So, the only thing you're going to need here is GTA config v30. So, double click on this and click for more mods. And then, uh, this is pretty much pre like preference. So, like... Um, I really wouldn't recommend doing 5x traffic and 5x peds because uh, the traffic would be insane. What I usually go with is 0.1x traffic and 0.1x peds, but you could go with 0.5x uh, and then 0.5x peds. I wouldn't recommend going higher than 1.5x traffic and 1.5x peds since it will probably cause some um, FPS issues because of all the cars having to be, like, you know, spawned and whatnot. So what I would do is I would go with 0.1x traffic and 0.1x peds. So once you're here, go into the, this is the same, this is, it's, it, the, inst the installation process is the same for all of these files. It's not different. So once you're in here, 0.1x traffic, 0.1x peds, double click on that. Once you're here, you're going to see gameconfig.xml. Now, you need to have OpenIV for this. If you do not have OpenIV, I'd recommend watching a tutorial on how to install OpenIV. So go ahead and open up your OpenIV and click Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. And it'll, it'll, it'll go in here a second. Okay, so <clears throat> once you're here, you know, you're in your main directory in OpenIV, not in File Explorer. Make sure you're in OpenIV. So once you're here, 
what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into mods, update, update.rpf, common data. And that's all you need to do in here. That's all that's all you need to do. That's just update or it's it's just mods, update, update.rpf, common and then data. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of folders and datas and a whole bunch of stuff. Only thing you're going to want to pay attention to in here is gameconfig.xml. Now, if no edits have been made, if it, if you have the original game config, it should say compressed encrypted. But if you've installed um, RDE or Realism Dispatch Enhanced, it'll say compressed because it's been changed. So, um, if if it does not say compressed or if it does not say compressed encrypted, that means that there have been some changes made to it. But if it says this at the end of it, that means that it's your original game config. No changes have been made to it. So. <clears throat> Once you're here, just simply drag and drop the file. And as you can see here, as you can see here, it's in here, you know. And that's that's how to install game config. It's as simple as that. That will that is what will fix your infinite loading screen issues. If not, then you know you can hopefully ask for support. You probably just asked me in the comments, but okay. So Sorry guys. Okay. <clears throat> After that, just close out your OpenIV. You're not gonna need it anymore since PacPal and Heap don't need you to ho have OpenIV open. So now instead, you're gonna go back into your file explorer, go into this PC, your local disk, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. Once you're in here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of files. Uh, you probably shouldn't have as many files. If it's a clean install director, if it's a clean install, it should only have like x64 and then the main files. You shouldn't have all of this, but I have all of it because I've you know I've installed quite a bit of mods. So you don't you do not need game config anymore. You can go ahead and delete that off of your desktop. So once you're here, the only two things you're gonna need is pack file and heap. So we're gonna start off with pack file. So go into pack file. You don't need to right click on it since it's already a WinRAR file. So once it has like the books and whatnot, that's when you know you can just simply open it. If it if it has, um, if it if it has if it's not that logo, then that means you need to right click and then open with WinRAR. But if it has this logo, then you should be fine. If it does not have the logo, you're gonna have to right click and open with WinRAR. So once you have pack file limit adjuster, just highlight both of these and just drag and drop. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drag and drop them since I've already uh, you know installed mine. And that's all for pack file, so just go ahead and delete that shortcut. Close out of the WinRAR. And then heap adjuster. We're gonna do heap next. So right here, heap. Highlight both of these and just drag and drop. Uh, obviously, I already installed mine, so I'm not gonna reinstall it. So once you're done with that, you are done with everything. You can close out of your main directory, you can close out of your open IV, and that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, you shouldn't have any other problems. You should not have any other problems unless you've installed the mod incorrectly. Most of the time, it should just be easy to. Um, it should it should be a simple install. You just drag and drop the OIV from RDE into OpenIV, and you should be good. So that's pretty much it for now. This will be up in like a few minutes. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, see you later. Peace.